Let's talk about faith, family. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things it may bring. Let's talk about faith. Look at those cows, y'all. You don't see them striving, do you? They got the grass, that's what they need. God provides. They have faith that when they wake up, there's gonna be grass for them to eat. Check them out. Faith must be pretty important to God because he said you can't please him without it. And it mentions so many times faith in the Bible. What is faith? Is it just believing? I think there's more to it than that. The definition that Hebrews gives in 11.1 1 is the only one that really we know about. And uh, it says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and it is the evidence of things unseen that sounds really cool to me and that always sounded like a really cool definition but I never really understood it honestly until I read on further started talking about your faith without works is dead that means that there is no faith without some type of response. So does that mean that the evidence of the things that are unseen is our response to what we believe? So first, we must hear the Word of God to be able to believe what God said. That's why the Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing the Word of God. It also says that faith is a gift of the Holy Spirit. In uh, 1 Corinthians 12, one of the uh, gifts of the Spirit is faith. To be able to have a response to your belief because boldness comes through the Holy Spirit. And the only enemy, the only weapon the enemy has against our faith, our response to what we believe, is uh, throwing fear and doubt in there. There is no faith in fear. You might believe the, the word when Jesus said, those who believe will cast out demons and they will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. They will resurrect the dead, cleanse the lepers. You might say you believe that, and really you probably believe what Jesus said because he wasn't lying, but you don't have faith until you respond to it. So, is fear keeping you from having faith? Because remember, we can't please God without it. Faith is what made Abraham righteous. Faith is what made Noah a righteous man. So we see that faith is where our righteousness comes from. And we also see that we are saved. We're sozoed by our grace, by through grace, through our faith. So we're saved, healed, delivered, set free, kept safe, protected through. Grace through our faith. So without it, we can't be.